I'm at the Scat Crankshaft booth here at the SEMA show. My buddy Tom is here. He's going to tell us all about what Scat's coming out with, your new products, right? Right. Well, you know, it's 2018 and things always change. What we got today is we have our new Excalibur crankshaft, which is this one here. Did you have to pull it out of the stone? Well, you know, it was close. I mean, it started out as a lump and now it's a crankshaft, a lump of steel that is. But basically, that particular crank, there's a lot of uh, racing classes that require a minimum weight. And the problem is, in the past, that the weight of the crankshaft, you know, when we made them, it would, they were too heavy and we had to machine them do a lot of stuff. So what we did is we made a whole new forging that took all that work out of it so we could give the racer the 49 pound crank that he was looking for. And we put some features in it like the, the bull nose and the knife edge and stuff is all in the forging so we don't have to machine any of that. So we've given the budget racer, the circle track guy, the IMCA guy, uh, a crank that he could afford but it's got all the features that he needs to go fast. Explain, you, you use the terms knife edge and bull nosing. Explain what some of those things mean. Well, the crank turns in the, in the engine, obviously, hello, and you have the counterweights, and the, the edge of the counterweight, if you look at the trailing edge and the leading edge, as it travels through the air, uh, if it's just a flat, it takes power to do that. So we put a radius on it or a knife edge on it, and both of them work about the same, and that directs the air away from the crank and takes the oil and gets it back down into the pan where it belongs. The latest thing on, on uh, crankshafts is based on engines and the latest engine you know, developments with GM on the LS engine, we've come out with a series of new uh, LS cranks. Somebody has to hand make that stuff and that's one of the things that we do. The engine has gone through several different uh, generations and developments and we've you know, been involved in all of that. And uh, so now there are you know, a whole boatload of different versions of it and we have every version there is from the you know the performance standpoint with the strokers and the rest of it so we've got the full the full range and that's something that uh, with the engine advancing the way it is that's a I think that's a plus for scat what do you guys have coming out for the LT engines well that kind of depends on Detroit as they develop their blocks and you know their 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 black magic then we kind of follow through with uh, parts for the aftermarket along with it so that's that's the future I don't know exactly what it is but as I understand it there's some exciting things ahead now what kind of uh, things do you offer on these cranks do you offer any polishing or any uh, if somebody buys a crank from you what, what else can they get well the 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 craftsmanship that goes into it of course the most important thing is the quality of the metal uh, and the next thing is how we heat treat it and then the machining process so the engine builder is going to measure it and uh, as far as finish and size and fit and all that, that's something that we play, you know, we pay very close attention to it. Everything is, before we ship it, we're, you know, we're putting our thumbprint on it, so we want to make sure it's right. And the nitriding is the surface finish. It's hard, it's like glass, so we know that we're going to get good bearing wear. Uh, that combined with the clearances and, you know, if a customer ordered a four inch crank, he measures it, it's four inch. And every single crank is nitrate treated? All the, the forged and billet cranks are, yeah, that's the final. The cranks go through three heat treating processes. The first one is the, the actual, the quench and temper, which sets the matrix of the steel. That's the first operation. Second operation is when we do all the machine work because we're cutting the grain of the crank and of course it's gonna take a, a tweak here and there. So we go through a stress relief, which takes all the machine issues out of it. And then at the end, we do the nitriding, which is cranks completely finished. It's polished, it's detailed, it's inspected, goes through the nitriding, which is a process where the crank goes into a, what's called a retort, which is a chamber. And uh, we inject nitrogen and ammonia into it. That reacts with the carbon on the surface, makes it hard. That's why the cranks are kind of a dull gray. And then we polish them and they come out kind of, kind of a neat, shiny gray polish. And, uh, you know, they're kind of cool until you put it in the engine, then you can't see it. So, but, but you got the vision in your mind, you know that it's right. Very interesting. What is a rotating assembly, a base, a 5.3, a 6.0 rotating assembly base price point-ish? Well, we have, we have two different types of assemblies. We've got an assembly for a street rod guy, a muscle car guy, and those assemblies are, you know, they're $1,700, give or take a little. And then you get into the race stuff, where uh, 
If you're going to run a blower, we have a different crank that's stronger. And those assemblies are $2,000, $2,100. And that has the best of parts. And again, you put it together, you're ready to go. Tom, thank you so much for giving me the lowdown on the SCAT crankshafts. I really appreciate it. To find out more about SCAT crankshafts, go to scatcrankshafts.com. And stay tuned. we got more videos coming up.